Hello, I'm Robin Henning, and welcome to another Exchange Life Nugget of Truth. I wanted to share with you an illustration of two very different shields. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16, the Apostle Paul goes through all the elements of the armor of God, and he gets to the shield of faith. And he describes it as something which is able to extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. Sounds good, doesn't it? Here's the problem. Before we come to faith in Jesus, we construct our own shield. I call it the shield of pain. People hurt us, and instead of healing properly, we store up that pain in our subconscious, which is what the Bible calls our hidden chambers. And then we use that pain when it triggers from our past trauma into our present situation as a reminder to shield ourselves from those we perceive as predators. Don't let them in. We might even put everyone in the predator category and become so shielded by pain that we don't let anyone into our lives. Yeah, that's extreme, but people, even after coming to faith in Jesus, think that holding on to their pain will protect them by reminding them not to trust others or to take risks, especially in relationships. But here's the deal, folks. The only thing our shield of pain does for us is hurt. It hurts us. It reminds, it, all we do is feel pain because of it. That's all it does. It cannot protect us. It actually robs us of the joy that comes from fully engaging God and fully engaging others. It will block you from loving God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength and your neighbor as yourself. Beloved, God made us to experience His agape love, and He made us out of the abundance of His love to pour it out to those around us. We were made for love. When you are refusing to engage and you're standing behind your shield of pain, you are going contrary to the Master's plan. You're not functioning as designed. You are dysfunctional when you're not engaging in love. It's that simple. And the shield of pain, all it does is hurt. So how do we make the switch? How do we make the transition from using the shield of pain to the shield of faith? First, we have to invite the Lord to search our hidden chambers. It's Psalm 139. Search me, O God. Try me. See if there be any hurtful, any hurt in me. And allow him to start the cleansing process. Beloved, we are here to help you on that journey. We are seeing lives transformed, including my own. People are being set free using the Journey Tools program. Why not consider asking the Lord if you should join us in that? We'd love to have you. So then you're going to learn to use your shield of faith in God's love for you to snuff out the lies, the accusations, the deceptions, and the temptations that Satan throws at you. You're going to learn to take your thoughts captive and bring them under obedience to Christ. Okay? That shield of faith, believe it or not, can even withstand friendly fire. This is when other believers and those closest to you are, launched, are used by the enemy, actually, to launch the flaming missiles. You're going to feel the impact. You're going to feel it hit your shield of faith. It's going to hurt. But it's not going to hurt near as much as if you're standing here like, it hit me, you know, not using your shield of faith at all, or trying to stand behind a shield of pain. Because when you stand behind the shield of pain, all that happens is that arrow penetrates and causes more pain. The shield of pain is useless. The shield of faith snuffs out the fire, snuffs out the life-taking fire of that flaming missile. It hurts, okay, but the deadliness of it is snuffed out, especially as we learn to stand in faith in Jesus as being the one who meets our needs. If he says, I'm loved and accepted, and somebody else says, I don't like you, I reject you. Where's truth? Right here. Shield of faith says, I'm going to believe Jesus over this person who's louder, but mm, here's where truth is. Okay? So, beloved, we, we really need to just trust that he loves us. Stand behind that shield of faith. Which, which shield are you using? Seriously, which one are you standing behind? We all struggle with it. We all want to self-protect. The reality is we can't. The only thing that protects us is our shield and our defender. And who is that? Let's take that shield of faith even further. Because the object of my faith is who? 
Jesus. He is my shield. He is my defender. He is my fortress. Pain does one thing, hurt. So go to him. Let Come to us. We'll help you. We love to help people get free. Stand behind your seal of faith in the one who made you, who loves you, who delights in you. Walk in the freedom and the victory that's already yours in Christ. Enter into the joy. Enter into the joy and the fullness of joy of your master, of your king, of your savior. He wants to meet you there. Give your pain to Jesus. And in exchange, he'll give you the fullness of joy. I hope this encourages you. I hope you have a blessed week in Jesus. We'll see you next time.